With the constant threat of nuclear warfare on the horizon, it has now become essential to learn tactics to avoid the direct impact of a blast. Lying on the ground with your legs sticking in the air will not do too much to protect you from the effects. So here is what you need to know in order to survive a nuclear explosion. Learn and copy what they do in movies. Certain movies that you may have seen yourself have portrayed what it has been like to experience a nuclear explosion firsthand. If we take the 2008 movie, Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull for example, there is a scene where Indiana Jones finds himself in a 1950s man-made town with an imminent nuclear bomb about to explode there. Using his quick thinking, he manages to get himself inside of a fridge, and despite the fridge being hurled about 150 feet in the air when the blast hits, Indiana manages to survive with just minor cuts and bruises. But what if you are outside when the bomb hits and don't have access to a fridge to hide in? Well, more recently, in 2013, a movie called The Wolverine shows exactly that. In Nagasaki, Japan, Wolverine is caught in the blast radius of a nuclear bomb. Upon impact, both he and a fellow Japanese soldier are seen outrunning the blast for a few seconds before they manage to jump down into a shelter. Wolverine manages to protect the Japanese man with a piece of metal that he shields over him during the explosion, but Wolverine faces the full brunt of the impact. Both Wolverine and the Japanese man survive the ordeal. Obviously, we do not have the superpowers that Wolverine possesses, but what we have learned from this scene is that putting a simple piece of metal over yourself will protect you from all of the megatons of force that the nuclear explosion deals. These are just two proven examples of how to survive a nuclear explosion, but what other options are available? Be outside of the blast radius. If a nuclear explosion catches you off guard, and you find yourself in the blast radius, then there is a good chance that you'll get incinerated. However, if you are aware that a nuclear bomb is set to detonate in or around your current location, then I would advise getting away from that area as soon as possible. Please bear in mind that different nuclear bombs will vary with their blast damage. The 1958 XW-54 warhead, for example, dealt a measly 6 kilotons of force, so you could be pretty close to it if you wish, and be only moderately damaged. The 1961 Tsar bomber hydrogen bomb, on the other hand, dealt a mighty 50 megatons of force, and is the biggest and most powerful thermonuclear bomb ever made, so you might want to stand a little further back if that bomb explodes again in your area. As a rule of thumb, if the mushroom cloud caused by the nuclear explosion is smaller than the thumb on your hand, then you should be safe. Is there anything else you could do to avoid the effects of the nuclear explosion altogether? Yes, there is. If you have the money and the resources, then I would advise building yourself a rocket ship and send yourself into outer space. This should completely avoid any nuclear weapon that is sent in your direction, and your survival chances should increase as a result. I hope you never have to face a nuclear explosion, but if you do, these are the best options you have available to survive a nuclear explosion, and hopefully they will serve you well. I will leave you now so you can start planning on your defence strategies. Catch you later.